This video is sponsored by Mwah. <laughs> Head over to WalandaProudLon.com for Merge, my signature red lip, and my new body care line. But if you really want to make it official, go ahead and sign up to our newsletter where we'll be sending out updates, discounts, new arrivals, and video uploads. What are you waiting for? There are thousands already signed up. You will want to be next. So for two days straight, I tried to do a specific protective style. It didn't come out the way I wanted. So I'm like, you know what? Let me not go trying to redo it because honestly, I don't have, I have the patience right now. I just don't have the willpower <laughs> to try to redo it. So let me just go ahead and make this a two strand twist month or a couple of weeks because honestly i have to wash my hair this week so or this month twice so this is actually going to be the first time in a very long time that i've twisted my hair because honestly i don't think i've twisted my hair since honestly i don't think i mini twist my hair since the last video that i uploaded um in between i have just been doing my knotless braids and y'all just been banging off because I have gained inches within the past six months will be summertime, right? It's December. So six months is I think July. I think I started doing my knotless DIY knotless in May. Yeah. May about six, seven months straight. Having knotless in definitely helps me retain length because I'm not touching my hair and for some reason my edges grows even more with knotless because there's nothing interrupting it like when I have regular twists in of course my edges are going to be rubbing on whatever anything but when I have knotless in it literally protects it so that's what I like about y'all look at this I love my hair. I probably say this in every video, but I absolutely love my hair. Even though two days ago when I washed my hair, took my braids out, washed my hair, it definitely a lot came out. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, why. Oh, maybe because I don't comb my hair. Like all month, all month, like all year, I did not put a comb in my hair. That is what my goal was for this year is not to have comb going through my hair every step of the way because initially I used to comb when I'm taking my braids out or the protective style out. And then I will comb again when I pre-poo. And then I will comb again when I'm detangling in the shower and then I will come again outside the shower when I am about to dry my hair, twisting up my hair to dry. And then I will come again to style my hair. And I was like, that's a lot. That's a lot. I went on a tangent. Let's get into these mini twists. I am going to talk while I do my mini twists because it is the end of the year and I just want to do a round out of how my hair is, what I'm feeling about the end of the year. I did one last year and I think it's best for me to do one this year. Being that I was trying to do a protective hairstyle before I decided just to twist, I do have product on my hair and normally I just have whatever the deep conditioner I'm using, uh, oil, uh, moisturizing butter or not butter, but like cream or leave-in cream type of deal and grease type of, yeah, y'all already know. If y'all don't know what I normally use, go check my last twist out video or my last two. Why I want to say twist out, not twist out, mini twist. So those are already in my hair plus more because I was trying to braid my hair. So you see what I'm saying? My edges, I already have thin edges, y'all. I've just, I naturally have thin edges. I naturally have thin hair or fine hair, period. But when I have knotless braids in and the way I do them, like my edges be coming back. Cause 
normally it's like a chunk there's for some reason right here especially on this side is so sensitive so normally i just have this chunk right here that is gone you could see a little bit but when i have my knot list in it grows in and yeah i have little hairs here to like cover it i love that so like i was saying i do have products in my hair already so that's why it's it's fully moisturized it's very shrunken because i do have the camille rose honey hydrate for the past six months ever since i think ever since i started doing my braid i have been using that and i like it i actually like it i don't really gravitate not gravitate i don't really like derive out of what i use for my hair products because i'm not a hair product junkie so i'm the type of person especially now uh, post always getting uh, PR. I've definitely minimized the PR that I do get. I either don't, <laughs> I either don't reply, or I just declined, declined PR because I I'm not a product junkie for anything. To be honest, I don't care what it is. I take the PR if I absolutely need it. Like if I know it's going to be beneficial for my life if it's not then i don't so i don't have a whole heap of products so when i do go out and spend my money on a product i definitely make sure it's something that i've been doing my research on that i really absolutely want i do not just get products to do content anymore um yeah that's that's not my life <laughs> that's not my life anymore i don't i don't care for that so am i forgetting how i twist my hair <laughs> what am i doing okay let me be back i did not get enough clips obviously so i'll be right back i don't know what i was thinking which is getting <laughs> one clip for my hair like girl what are you crazy all right Got some more clips. I feel like this is foreign to me. I feel as though I haven't done this all year because I've just been doing my not this braids. Okay. So for my twist, I don't use combs. I just use my fingertips slash nails. Not really nails, just my fingertips to part i don't care for the perfect parting because most of the time my braids are my twists my twists are um they're twisted away like um they're up i did bring a little bit of grease oops because i wasn't sure how my hair is going to be even though it's, it's quite moisturized I don't know. I just feel like I need something to seal. I do braid my roots. What I was saying, going back to the products, products that I've been using. Yeah, so I do like the Camille Rose. I bought that early last year, but I didn't start to use it until... I started my braids so I do like that product the honey hydrate but unfortunately they have changed the product completely I have been watching it all year because I was thinking about purchasing a backup when Sephora not Sephora uh Sally I think Sally and Ulta they had a couple of cells like hair cells throughout the summer especially um, like 50% off and stuff like that on those products. And I wanted to get a couple of backups, especially when I seen that Camille Rose decided to change the entire packaging and the entire ingredients on there. So I was like, yo, I don't want to miss out because if Camille Rose takes out the 
the old one completely off of their website, then it's, you know, in due time, the retailers are going to be, be carrying this new one. And I was looking at the ingredients of the, the new one. I really didn't care for it. Like all the more natural or more potent things, ingredients were down towards the bottom and a lot of fillers I feel as though were towards the top so I was like you know what I don't think I'm going to switch over to the new ingredient so I wanted to stock up when I can but I am very adamant about not getting backups and just hoarding products like that's not my life anymore i don't care to have so many different products for so many different situations i'm definitely all about simplifying my life i want to keep my stash very 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 minimal so i decide not to get extras throughout the year um and now the only retailer that i think has it is iherb at full price no discounts and um, Sally had it up until like literally a couple of days ago, they switched it to the new one. So, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely gone y'all. Yeah. I was thinking about getting the, um, the leave-in during Black Friday, but I was like, that's really what I only want. Cause I seen Sally was going to have a 50% off their hair and shampoo coming up. So I was like, I don't want to pay full price for hair and shampoo. And then just for me to get a discount for the Camille Rose one, it the, just the math wasn't mathing for me. So I decided not to get it at all. Now Sally's don't carry the old one again anymore. So I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. I'm at a point with hair products like if it's gone it's gone there's gonna be something else something new um all the time so if i want to try something else i'll try it but honestly i'm not going to try to run and stock up on products that are going to be discontinued i just it's, it just doesn't make sense so i was going to get about four or five of them and stock them up that would take me about four or five years to go through them because I wash my hair once a month. And so that means I use my hair products once a month. The only product that I use on a regular is a hair spritz, spritz, hair refresher, whatever. So, and I make my own now. I don't go and buy those. So I'm like, it's gonna take me so long to, to finish it. So I was like, you know what? It's all good, it's all good. I'll try something else from another company. But that was my, I still have it. That is my first bottle and I really did like it, but so long, that's life. What else? Well, I do wanna do a natural hair products stash show you guys what i have like a minimalist uh vibe to it because y'all i literally just have a bin the little the little white ikea bins that i have the little cloth ones that's all i have for my hair products and even now i'm still trying to slowly um diminish slowly chip away at it because there are some things I know I'm just not going to revive. And then I do have one um, backup. I still have a backup of grease in my stash because I've actually stopped using a the grease these past six months and replaced it with the Camille Rose. Oh my gosh, y'all, my hair is so soft. I miss my hair. I miss this so much. I do, I do, I do. I got everything else when it comes to product wise, it's still the same. I think that was the only new product that I incorporated in my hair routine this year. I didn't buy anything else new because I don't need anything else, but I did finish 
quite a few products so if you guys have seen any of my empties videos y'all will see which products that i did empty out or just tossed away i think i had one product this year that i said forget it <laughs> i'm not even gonna try to finish it that was the um tgin leave-in conditioner and something told me to keep it and just try to finish it because now i think i want it for a specific idea i have in my head but it's all good it's all good it was really irritating me because i was not using it and it was just sitting in my stash and i don't want to have products that i'm not using in my stash but i know i wouldn't buy that product again i didn't know what to do with it being that it wasn't giving me what i thought i wanted for my hair so it's fine what have i learned i guess this is just a reflection video while i do my mini twist reflection of my hair the entire year um oh i should go get a measuring stick measuring stick what i should go get my measuring tape and do a quick length check i don't think i've ever done a lit check on my channel before because like i've said in previous videos my hair journey my natural hair journey was never about length it was all about learning my hair and and maintenance and just making sure i have hair on my head no matter the length and now i'm in a hair journey all right something I realize is that I have a lot to cut off because I already have fine hair my hair already breaks a lot and tangles a lot so I already have to be very careful with it very very gentle um, I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of thinning at the end. So you could kind of see how you, right, especially on this one, it comes thick and then it thins out a lot. So I know I have to do more cuts. I'm not going to sit and just chop my entire hair off in order for my hair to be one length. To me, it's not necessary, but I do realize I have a lot more straggly ends than I would like because, cause all in all, okay, let me try to do it on a white background. You could see how it gradually gets thin, but I feel as though that's how hair grows when it's getting longer when it's getting longer you got to make sure that all the new growths or all the growths all the baby hairs at the root is able to catch up with the old ends because realistically your ends are going to get caught your ends are going to be more fragile and the new girls are just going to be stronger and because they're shorter they're not going to be caught as much as um your your ends your tips so i do need to get on to that well i'm already am i'm cutting more but i'm only cutting my hair twice a year i'm not doing any more i don't think it's necessary for me to do anymore because i do keep my hair put away really often and i moisturize my hair very often like i don't have dryness issues because i know the ingredients my hair loves that keeps it supple so i don't have dryness issues i still have I think my single strand knot issues is getting way better, but it's still there because my hair is just, it's just very fine and it just tangles. Um, when it comes to split ends, my split ends are still there as well, but I just feel as though I just need to, I just need to cut more as I go. 
And you know, it's an overtime thing. I'm not gonna sit here and get frustrated because this and that, because honestly, most of the time, my hair is put away. So there's no reason for me to like be frustrated at it. I still have hair and it's still healthy. And by the grace of God, it still grows. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I don't care for it to be all a certain length because I am a curly babe. My hair is not straight literally at all. This year was the first year that I started to do silk presses at home. So like I'm, I'm a curly babe. Like I love my curls. I love my puffs. I love all of that. And I love my texture. I don't want it to be straight. So I don't care for the even length, but I do care for any damages or any straggly ends to, to be removed. I do care for that. It's currently December. So the next time I cut my hair or like this one, you could tell this one was cut really nicely because it doesn't have much like strands, like me twisting little, 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 little bits of hair. So I don't know. My hair is weird. Some places is cut very well. Some places is okay. My nape will always look like this. And I say this because it is a different texture. Let me go get this measuring stick real quick. The nape of my hair will always have some very, very loose textures. And it's just, it's, it's just very soft and it's very very fragile it's easier to break off but it's it grows longer <laughs> the texture is looser so all right got my measuring tape here okay let me let me do the front real quick see my hair is like so uneven <laughs> it's all good I ain't worried about it. I don't care. I don't care. If it's not perfect, I don't care. The front. Thirteen inches. Let me see. If this tells me a number that I don't recognize. Normally, this is the longer parts of my hair. I don't know, like right, right, right above my ears. It's the longest part. Everywhere else, like around the perimeter of my hair, always breaks off. But this part right here, be strong. Fifteen and a half. So I think it, those are not accurate. <laughs> those are not accurate because I have humectant in my hair. Like I said, I had grease, I have cream, I have oil because I was trying to do something else with my hair. So my hair is very shrunken. So I come back to y'all. Another time, maybe I'll do a length check when I am doing a twist out, God willing. Not a twist out, a silk press, God willing, um, like in six months.
like it was first quarter of this year i did set a goal for me to hit 18 inches by the end of this year so in december um honestly i felt like it was realistic and i'm not that far if i didn't have all of these humectants in then it will definitely hit 16 inches for my longest length because i did measure it while i was braiding my hair just yes no not yesterday the day before yesterday and it was sitting at 16 inches so i am shy of two inches when it came to my goal but i wasn't that far i wasn't that far and me seeing and knowing how my hair grows or like to be or you know just the way it is i could definitely see me having a steady hair growth routine that i won't get frustrated with and i could be realistic about so i do want to get to as long as hair possible <laughs> hopefully i don't get scissor happy and be like you know what forget it i want to go short again like i've done before um i don't think that would be the case but i definitely do i want to say on camera what i want my goal for and the next year is now nah, i keep it to myself I'll keep it to myself. So the overall goal is just to keep on growing healthy hair, healthy, relaxed hair. Um, <laughs> relaxed, what? Girl, what? Healthy, natural hair and to have grace on my hair. And to love on it, you know, like I've always been doing. The same stuff I've always been doing. Okay, so I lied. I did hit that 18 inch goal. 18 inches, 18 inches, 18 inches, 18 inches. I did. So I told you guys earlier I was at 16. And then I just remembered last month was my sixth month uh were my second cut what am i trying to say last month last month was my second trim of the year since i'm only trimming twice the first time was back in may june july august september october november yep november i did do a two inch trim actually on my hair so technically i did reach 18 um, cause I was just going off of 18 just in general. I wasn't including my trims in it because normally I don't trim a lot off, but a lot needed to go. And a lot still needs to go because the way I'm looking at my, <laughs> the way I'm looking at my ends, I literally just want to cut now, but I'm going to wait until the schedule because this right here this right here is super thin so i see where i want to cut which is about right here where this crinkle maybe no a little bit just right here so if i want to cut that that is about i want to say a good like three three to four inches of just scraggly ends. I think I'm going to do that in May when it's time for me to cut because I do want to stay on schedule. Honestly, I could probably do it in February, you know, to do like a three month emergency cut. But I think I'm just gonna wait until I'm probably gonna wait till May. I'm glad I didn't get a lot of breakage going on. I am almost done. This is literally so sloppy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This is so sloppy. 
But I need it. <laughs> I need it done today. I got things to do. I need this to be out of my list. I need this to be crossed off my list. <sighs> How was your natural hair journey for 2023? For me, in a nutshell, it was really good, to be honest. It was very, very good. I don't think I manipulated my hair any more than I wanted to, except for this month. Um, every, I know how to hydrate my hair better. I know how to, I know what styles work for me and I can stick with it and not have a problem with it. I don't get fed up or tired of different styles or different products like i've diminished my product stash a lot um i've honed into what i need or what my hair needs and what i am expecting of it and um I feel like the only thing I still definitely have to work on is my trims. I'm trying to figure out the proper way to go about doing my trims where it satisfies me and my hair both. Because <laughs> these ends need to be cut. But other than that, I feel as though I... I definitely progress. I normally set my goals in December for some reason. I normally set my goals in November to December for the next year. So I've already had my goals set for the next year to try to strive towards. Have you guys set your goals yet? If you don't mind sharing, go ahead and let us know down below. Um, did you see any progress? Did you have any setbacks in your hair goal? We are done. <laughs> Look how long afterwards. My hair shrinks so bad. I am completely done with my twist. Thanks for, let me see. I'm not getting stuck to my ear. Why this side is fuller? I feel like this side is thinner. I am done with my hair. I thank you guys so much for sitting and listening to me chat about my hair goals of 2024 and what happened in 2023.